Oh, very exciting. Um, 15 years ago, the world came together and made a promise to help stamp out poverty and improve health care, education, the environment and rights for women and girls in the underdeveloped world. No mean feat. And the job wasn't given to Whangaura. Uh, 189 nations, including New Zealand, agreed to a deadline of 2015, that's now, to achieve these eight UN Millennium Development Goals. So, have they been achieved and what is the report card? Massey University Associate Professor Glenn Banks is here to tell us. Glenn, good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. Um, so they were very, very bold goals. Let's quickly look at them. Eradicate extreme poverty and hunger, achieve universal primary education, promote gender equality, empower women, reduce child mortality, improve mental health, combat HIV, AIDS, malaria and other diseases, ensure environmental stability and global partnership for development. This is the deadline. Have we achieved them? At the global level, there have been some pretty impressive achievements, like 700 million people dragged out of extreme poverty. Um, 2.3 billion people now have much better access to, to clean water supplies, for example. So there have been some pretty spectacular achievements, but they're pretty uneven in different parts mm. of the so world. So you're saying some of these countries who were set this task have actually been up to the task and have met it, others woefully inadequate? Yeah, and it, it's not just that countries were set the task. I mean, the, the world committed to helping countries do this as well. So we can't just lump it all on the, mm. the countries which haven't met the goals and say, oh, it's, it's all their fault. You know, so is one of the reasons that some countries are still well, well behind meeting these goals the fact that the world didn't choose them, didn't help them as much? That comes down to, to some of it. You know, there have been some really spectacular successes. China's been well in advance of most of the, the Millennium Development Goals. India's done pretty well too. Um, some parts of the, the Pacific, for example, Cook Islands and Niue, they're going to meet all their MDGs. Mm -hmm. All of them? All of them. Yep, all eight of them. OK, so, so you'd have to say that they were in the very top group in yeah. terms of success. Yeah. Um, who are the countries that are, not, that are not making the grade? Are they African nations? A lot of sub-Saharan Africa is not going to make the grade. Um, Papua New Guinea in the region is, is not going to meet any of the the MDGs at this point. So there are countries which I think they were, the MDGs were biased against them right from the start in the mm -hmm. sense that countries which started off at a very low level obviously had a lot more work to do to, to try and get there and they didn't. They, they were countries that had low levels of um, resources to, to actually try and achieve these things. I mean, how serious well. were we about this? Because we should be looking at this as a, as a doomed failure, shouldn't we, given that so many countries haven't, haven't met any of these, let alone all of them. I mean, it's a failure for the world, isn't it? It, it is in some respects. They were always very aspirational. You mm. know, in 2000, we said, we don't want these things around in, in 2015. But it was always considered that you know, they were going to be hard, very hard to meet. And the, the process sort of rolls on later this year that the UN's adopting a set of um, sustainable development goals which pick up the, the remainder, in a sense, those, those things we haven't achieved and, and push them okay. forward. This is Helen Clark's job now to see this through, isn't it? It is. It is, is she doing a good job, do you think? I think she's doing a, a pretty good job. Seems to be pretty well regarded. And, she does and seem to be well regarded. It's hard to tell in an organisation that feasts off itself whether that well regard is, is, is correct or not. Um, let's just look at a couple of these uh, here very quickly before we finish. Combat HIV, AIDS, malaria and other diseases. There have been real advancements globally there, haven't there? There have. They have, and, and certainly in most parts in the Pacific that we've done very well in terms of the, the MDGs, the, those, those particular MDGs. You know, at the end of this 15 years, um, is the world a much better place for women and, and girls? In some respects it is. In terms of access to primary education, it's, it's much better than it was previously. Um, gender equality is almost universally um, achieved in terms of boys and girls mm -hmm. attending attending school. So that that's a real achievement and that's going to make a difference further okay, down the so line. So some real achievements yeah. there. All right, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us, Glenn. Uh, Glenn Banks, Massey University Associate Professor.